Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we will check fresh figurine from ICM. As you can see that's a part of World's Guard series, which is modded in 1 16th scale and this time it copies Beef Eater, uh, famous guard in this red uniform, you can see it on the box art. So package style is quite typical for this series, we have this nice big box with beautiful box art on the front. Here you can see comparison with my hand and on the side we have some information about the kit. So there are 34 parts for assembly of one figurine only of course. And then on the sides we don't have anything interesting, I mean nothing special. So let's open it. Box structure is also typical for ICM, as you can see we have flexible top part which is color printed and then the sturdy white cardboard box which should preserve everything inside. As you can see inside there is plenty of space and I think everything should arrive to you intact even after some rough shipment, so no worries. All sprues are packed into the same plastic bag and now we're gonna remove them and check them closer. So, first one is this narrow sprue, which is dedicated to spear and saber. As you can see, these parts are molded as one piece parts, and of course, you will have to be careful while separating them because, for example, this spear is placed on three attachment points, so it might be tricky to separate it without cutting extra plastic. So, take your time and cut it carefully. Next I was opening an extra plastic bag because it secures this black base for the figurine stand. As you can see it is molded as a one piece part and you will be able to choose top segment. We will see it further in the video review. But now I want to show you this grey plastic sprue with all necessary parts for the figurine. As you can see parts division is quite unusual for uh, 35 scale but it's typical for 16 scale. Why? Because for example, torso should be assembled out of two halves and then we have legs which are molded as one piece parts. And then we have head which is molded uh, with several parts division and it should be assembled out of uh, separate elements. So what I want to show you is facial detailing. So here it is. As you can see it looks really nice and of course after careful painting you will get even better appearance. The same can be said about torso, so as you can see all features are pre-molded and they look really nice, even all rewards are pre-molded, but don't expect any decals for this, I mean they are still not included into this series and I think it might be a great improvement if some of the next kits in this series will actually feature decals for a nice appearance. I mean it would also make assembly process easier because you just apply these decals and professionals of course still will choose to paint them. Here we have top parts which I mentioned before so as you can see we have four options and of course nobody stops you from painting them or leaving in plain black as they come out of the box but I would rather paint them for better appearance. Another nice bonus is um, this poster and don't be surprised that it's supplied in two pieces so as you can see they're absolutely identical why because on the back side we have parts map and paints chart and also here we have the painting guide for this figurine as you can see there are some detailed sections for um, different elements for example saber handle or some insignia on the uniform so you would know how to paint this or that feature on your guard so that's all for this kit and of course don't forget to leave your opinion in the comment section below. For detailed photos I will invite you to read full review article here in the video description below. There should be links so just click it and check text in English and Russian and of course there will be detailed photos of this particular kit. And if you want to help us just press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel because it will support us greatly and help us do more video reviews like this. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye!